Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to be going through the translations of the live streams that happened a couple days ago. Our boys from Ragnarok were able to translate and get it up on our Discord, so shout out to them. Uh, before we begin, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel, it really helps it out. And without further ado, let's get into the translations. So the first translations, we, they went over the Revolution Stones. So pretty much I'll just read from what we got here and then we can have a little chat about it at the end or after each section. So um, they were saying in their live streams that we're looking to make some stat upgrades to the revolution effects, including passive skills. And we're also working on ways to make performance feel better in phases four to six. So stay tuned for the revolution update. So the key points there will be skill enhancements in stage 4 and 5 of the revolution system. Stage 6 will have something to do like a dedicated new skill. So um, those new uh, branches of the evolution stone is definitely going to be more enhanced than, we'll got our, than what we've got now with our typical um, attack defense HP. So really, really looking forward to this in itself. It's going to help, um, you know, those... those units that aren't used much to be um really brought up to the meta so which is really really good this is their way of balancing characters and buffing and um whatnot so really good to see that so the rewards uh, will gradually increase the amount of rewards for the black market tickets through various events in the future we'll try to increase coin supply by increasing the coins rewards in the loot system or by giving more coins in events Awesome to see more coins come into the game. It's very, very expensive just to upgrade the um, STR gear um, to level 5 on all four pieces. I'm pretty sure the last upgrade is uh, like 7 mil or something like that. So just in itself. So um, as you get to you know the 400 links, it does get very draining gold. And all the new characters coming out do need a, a new way. And it's really good to see new black market tickets come into the game, which will help um, a lot of us. So moving forward, the store, the Alliance store is getting ready for an overhaul, finally. In addition, we'll be overhauling the pricing and selection in the um, other in-game currency ones, stores. We're also working on an event exchange that will allow you to redeem manuals. Um, gears and more so you'll be able to continue earning so yeah we have a lot of manuals so as you get to the late game you start getting an influx of them now we're thinking about arranging events to give more alliance points we'll expand the range of the products through line store we're preparing an exchange event where you can use unused item really really good i'm glad they've taken notice to that line store is very expensive and pretty much um all you get is a rare Shinsu Wheatstone, so that's pretty much it. Character and balances. So most requ requested characters by users is Jin Saha. Um, we plan to release it soon, so I think it's actually planned for next month. Next will be Baylord Yama, the new balm, which we call Butterfly Balm, and White in this order. So very nice to see Baylord, balm, uh, Baylord Yama come out. New Balm, White, all heavy duty characters, very um, exciting characters to come out. Um, they're also working hard on new events to make their releases smoother. Some of my allies look like they need to be rebalanced. So this is what a user would have said. We're working on balanced adjustments for characters you've already owned that will naturally complement the Revolution expansion. We're working on new characters that will maintain Rachel's value but allow those who don't have her to take advantages of her as well as new bosses with different patterns. So in this, they're balancing characters by using the Revolution, um, which is great. And they're going to implement Rachel, uh, a character equivalent to Rachel, but still maintain Rachel for us who have maxed her and we've, you know, have spent the money to get her max. Um, so a user, a user said, we want to make sure that more diverse characters can play cross content. Um, oh, sorry, that's what the statement is of the um, live stream. So combat planner, I'm thinking about making Kaisa. Kaisa, who is a ranged DPS character, fulfill her Rachel role as well. So Kaisa is confirmed to be a ranged DPS character, which will be a bossing character. 
um, to substitute as a Rachel, which is big, big news. Um, a lot of people would be happy with that since Kaiser in general is a beloved character. And to have another Rachel um, will be good for everyone. But outside of the new characters, I also want to make existing characters perform better on bosses with Revolution. Um, really, really good. Very happy with the character balancing. Ignition weapons. We'll be adding the ability to swap out just some of the weapons in a preset you've already created. We'll also be working on a UX improvement that will allow you to quickly reorder your presets. We want you to be able to choose the order of your presets. Third point, we're currently considering making an option to give you the possibility of re-rolling the substats of your ignition weapon or to make the substats process separate from the upgrade process. We'll give you more information when specific information and schedules are confirmed. Let's pause right there. We'll come back. The first two points, beautiful quality of life. Um, I know for a fact I always change my ignition weapons and I always have to um, delete and re install the new one so very very nice update but the main point here is point three um giving you the possibility of re-rolling substats i know for a fact i always get um you know subpar substats or i get maybe like two out of the four that are really nice or i might get like a 1.5 percent roll on a on a on a substat which is a really good one um good like a like a piece for example but it's not that um great so having this possibility it will open up a lot um of you know new possibilities for for the game a lot of things to try out um it, it won't just be just luck of the draw really you could actually make it exactly how you like it so very very happy with that um update in the future uh, point four, about saving ignition weapons in PvP. This is something that many of you have asked about, but we feel that weapons should be reflected in real-time PvP, same way that stats are reflected in real-time. We honestly think that it will be absurd if only ignition weapons weren't real-time. There's also an equity issue, as some regulars have been able to equip and train multiple characters with the same ignition weapons, so it's difficult to implement. With the parts I mentioned above, we'll try to make um, ignition weapon supplies better. Ignition weapons are currently designed to help low usage heroes to perform better. Future ignition weapons will follow this concept. They'll be made to benefit low usage and neglected characters more. Please look forward to them. Bosses. Effect resist is here to stay for the time being, balance, based on balance. However, we will not increase it further and we will be looking to expand systems that will allow you to get more effect hit e.g. expanding orbs to reduce the fatigue generated by constant retries for regulars. We have no plans to nerf Rachel to preserve her value for those who have progressed her and we will continue to add more bust patterns to support a variety of deck combinations in PvE as well as new characters and new revolutions. And lastly the Q&A collaboration. Yes, so let's talk about collaboration first. Collaborations are through contracts since it includes a limited period of time. If you, if we want to rerun it again, we have to pay for another contract and proceed for the collaboration again. So there are currently no plans for reruns and a lot of you are wondering if we'll do a new collaboration as a lot of you complained about the current character lineup. We're taking it as a priority. There will be no collaborations until we've met a lineup that satisfies regulars. After we've met this, we'll look into bringing a new user that, are, that aren't on our Tower of God roster um, through the collaborations again. So really, really nice translations coming through. Very nice um, live streams. This last section is um, pretty much what they're saying is they can't rerun it because they won't make enough money from it because people already got it. So that's pretty much what I'm getting from. But um, they do have licenses to some games like um, Grand Cross, Tower, um, Seven Deadly Sins and uh, The Seven Knights. So I, I don't see it as a contract since they already have a contract, but I, I'm not sure how exactly it works. I know for a fact other other animes like um, solar leveling would be in tower of god in the future since they're bringing out solar leveling arise but that is pretty much the end of the live streams all right guys please like comment and subscribe and peace out